Hey, welcome back to Gamer Guide Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at one of the creations from another user, uh, DGens58. This is the PAX48 Micro, something you can find on the Robo Shop. And uh, there's another guy who did copy him and uh, made something similar, but this is the original artist, so I wanted to give him credit. Um, I went ahead and took his design and I made a couple improvements to it myself. I just uh, did a couple of front side SMGs and then also used some uh, inner slope blocks. To uh, lighten up the front to counteract those added on uh, SMGs and I took off one of the plasmas as five's good enough really and I didn't want to increase the rank too much. It does use low tier guns and it's only 2,426 ranking overall after being modified so it's pretty low. We did my own little custom paint job added on a little tinted glass and uh, this is one of my favorite uh, robots from another builder so far that I've played. So uh, it says a lot for it. It is a lower rank robot of course uh, but it is a lot of fun to play and I'm going to go and take it out today and we're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the changes in Robocraft. They've made a change to how quickly it takes to respawn uh, in this last patch here uh, with spawn times being about 12 seconds even at the top uh, robot rank and I've noticed it's changed the playstyle um, in some of the games I've played especially these lower matches uh, as I was just messing around with my uh, PAX bot uh, but I noticed that everybody is uh, starting to rush a lot more so if you know you lose your vehicle you can just get right back over to the other side of the map so I'm seeing a lot of more uh, speedy builds and uh, people rushing together uh, right into the shield and trying to take out the generator. So um, I'm not necessarily sure if that is a bad thing though because it's going to cause the team to have to play defense and have a couple dedicated players back at the base basically killing people as they come towards the shield. Um, so it definitely does feel a lot different than before as you know a minute 20 or minute 30 or whatever it is at uh, the top rubber rank was really a, a pretty good um, punishment for getting destroyed. And I mean there's good things and bad things about this new system. Like I said we're just going to need more dedicated defense people. So it does kind of uh, bring in different elements and different roles into the gameplay. Um, as you can see though, this thing is really nimble. I like the uh, build on this and it uses a lot of thrusters to kind of assist with uh, the jet's movement up and down when you're hitting spacebar and uh, and shift. And I've done some stuff similar to this in my builds too, using uh, upward thrusters and downward thrusters near the front of the plane. They kind of assist with movement with wings and uh, they are a lot of fun. But one reason I like playing the lower tiers with these jets is you don't have to really deal with the same level of anti-air you know you'll still get to your smgs and plasma shots and other planes uh, can dogfight you and stuff but not so much uh, with the flak and missiles and all that kind of stuff so it kind of makes me think you know if there's going to be a change in build style as people will be going for uh, faster speedier builds with larger damage output as they can just run to the enemy shield um, kind of dodge defenders blast their uh, crystals a couple times and then if they die they'll be you know right back over as soon as they've had their 12 second penalty and um you know, they're able to get their butt back across the map. So it could change up Robocraft somewhat. Um, I'm not necessarily sure that it's a bad thing. It's just something I've noticed that's a lot different than it was before the uh, patch of CPU update. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that uh, having dedicated defenders now is a good thing and we should uh, keep the spawn times uh, lower? Or did you like it before when you actually had more of a penalty at like a minute 20 to uh, actually keep people away? So the rest of this game is just kind of me uh, playing the PAX uh, flyer and um, doing pretty well and stuff like that but I've noticed uh, in this game that I had to kind of defer to playing pretty much all defense um, most of the time you know maybe helping out with a tower here and there I find it a little hard to take towers with plasma from the air until later game anyway uh, but definitely I felt like I was having to constantly defend the base and uh, then we were also losing towers until you know kind of mid uh, game we don't really even uh, recover too much so it's just kind of a constant struggle to have one tower and then defend so um, other good players in the game of course and it was a lot of fun and so uh, if you guys are in there and you see me in the game uh, definitely feel free to say hi I uh, always like talking to people who watch my channel and uh, I think that's gonna do it guys so I'll just go ahead and play some more music here uh, if you're new here please uh, subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate that and uh, come back and see me again here soon you might put down a uh, comment too of something you might like me to uh, test out in a future episode here on the uh, rubber shop reviews and uh, I know I kind of got away from this. I had started doing these reviews, but then I picked up some other games and stuff like that. But um, Robocraft's kind of my game, man. I mean, uh, out of all the other stuff I play, I do enjoy this one. I come back to it more often than the other games. Though I did pick up um, the copy of No Man's Sky, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. But we still have a couple of months till that uh, launches. So 
uh, when that happens, I'll probably be playing No Man's Sky a lot and a little less Robocraft. But we'll see how good it uh, actually is compared to what the reviews have been. But I am stoked about that. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.